Thank you for choosing Evolve Cubicles from Bobrick. Step 1. Verifying Received Order First, open the hardware box and locate the layout drawings and hardware list. Next, verify that all components were received by matching the ID number on the component label to the ID number shown on the drawing. Then, use the hardware list as a checklist and make sure all hardware is present. To check the extrusion counts, refer to the layout drawings under Extrusion List for the part number and quantities. Then, organize and stage all the components and hardware needed for each room. Be sure to review the list of tools you will need to complete the installation. Obtain any that you don't have on hand before beginning. Step 2. Verifying Room Dimensions First, check the width of the wall at the front center line. Refer to the layout drawing for the correct dimension. The center line of each toilet compartment must be measured from the front center line and not at the back wall. Then, set the self-leveling cross-line laser at the front center line. Place a chalk line over the laser and mark the side wall or walls and floor. The chalk line will be used as a guide to set the front extrusions. Step 3. Checking Wall Plumb and Floor Slope First, check the plumb of the wall using a 72-inch level. If the wall is out of plumb, plan to use shims or fillers to fix the out-of-plumb wall. This step is critical. Next, check the slope of the floor by measuring the highest and lowest points of the floor. Note that the pedestals can be adjusted up to 2 inches. Then, measure 9 to 12 inches back from the front center line to locate where the pedestal will be set. Make sure the pedestal will not interfere with the floor drain. If it does, plan on relocating the divider pedestal within the 9 to 12 inch range. Step 4. Measuring Stall Center Line Using a measuring tape, measure the wall to the center line of the divider panel at the front and mark the floor. Refer to the layout drawing for the center line dimensions. Next, set the laser on the marked floor at the front center line. Use a carpenter square to guide the laser device and use the chalk line to mark the floor and back wall. Note that where the laser line appears on the back wall is where the U-channel will be attached to the wall. This dimension may not be the same as measuring off the side wall to the panel center line. Measuring from the front center line will ensure the square of the system. Repeat these measurements for each divider panel. At the highest point of the floor, place the horizontal laser 9 and 1 8 inches high. Mark where the laser appears at the back wall on each chalk center line. 